going on? Andrew, why can I see your mouth? It's just eyes and nose. That's how you look too, and Taylor. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Board Till Death Podcast. Hello. If you like what you hear, like and subscribe for more. If not, Ben's going to beat you with a baseball bat. Look at those eyes. Maybe. All right, start the damn podcast. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> Mine! <laughs> What's the other one? Don't worry about it. What's the other <laughs> one? Started re- you started recording. Don't worry well, about what it. Is it? It's, a, it's on a need-to-know basis. He's just trying to cover all of his oh, fruit intake. We can edit, we can edit it. Baja Nar. That's what it's called. Rum and Coke. I have Andrew a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> You're such mm. a big boy. Andrew. <laughs> yeah. I'm not asking for much out of this best man duty for the wedding and stuff, just for you to fly out to the Pacific Northwest and okay. do like, you know, usual, like what, $3,000 for wedding for free for me. Is that all I'm asking for? Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have one best man duty for you when you get here. You want me to get high, don't you? I, I'm getting you high as shit <laughs> and I need, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I mean, after everything, I kind of, I kind of said like after everything with Aaron and Landon not coming and stuff, the least I could do is have a little bit of a brownie, whatever. <laughs> a little Yellow. bit of a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> we should play like Russian roulette with. Don't brownies. give me that look, Ben. What are you looking at me like that for? Like you don't do that every other night. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking delinquent. <laughs> I, know. I can't, I can't trust myself on those things, dude. It's too much. And see, I have no point of reference at all. I just know don't have, take really big bites. So, can we, can we play Russian right roulette? Time, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a bunch of regular brownies and a couple, you know, and you got to pick which one. That's how we're gonna do it. Oh God, I want to. <laughs> I want to get through like five brownies before I find the right <laughs> one. But then it's I have the only like three in the batch are like that. Oh my God, and I'm just like. Listen, <laughs> listen, buddy. I'll I'll take care of you. It's all good. I, I know what I know what music to play. City and color. It's all good. There you go. Speaking of this new music, God damn it! It's a great week. It, it is, is a great a, week. I was having such a bad day yesterday, so I saw that post. Balance and composure is back. <laughs> I might cry, Ben. I know you don't care for them, but Andrew and I we're gonna have a moment. Okay. Your fan? I think um, you talk shit. You, about you them. like them, don't you? I'm pretty sure I have like two of their records on vinyl, like uh, in the house. But that's fine. I'm not a fan. I could have no. sworn <laughs> you, we, we've talked about it before, and you're like, oh, whatever. Yeah, it wasn't like a diehard like all day long for it, but mm. I like them. He, no, he no. isn't a cultist like we are. I didn't. Yeah, I that's didn't grow true. up with it, so. <laughs> oh, we're we're late bloomers to the party. I didn't like them back in the day. Uh, I got into them around. 2016 is that what we're on time of yeah. Jade? Yeah, right when they broke up, per usual. That's you know, <laughs> I, I am famous for that. I fucking I got into them when they broke up. Molotov Solution, they broke up. <laughs> Mac Miller died, and I got into him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mac and it, Molotov Solution is such a tease because they every like two years they post something new. On yeah. their Facebook or something like that, and be like, "Oh, Molotov 2023 or 20 whatever the year is that they decide to post something." And we allow ourselves to get all hyped up, and then nothing happens. <laughs> oh, those fucking bastards! I love them though. <laughs> if you ever feel like overthrowing the government, listen to a Molotov Solution album. <laughs> it's the same thing, really. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> How was y'all's weeks? Good weeks, Andrew. I know you got a, a raging story you want to tell us about. Apparently. A raging story. 
You messaged I, me. I don't know. Just... Oh, I don't know why, but when you said raging, I did not know where that was going. <laughs> Andrew, you got a raging something. I don't know, but <laughs> Ben's raging no. I, so, <laughs> so bla- this past episode that came out, I put the uh, the audio version of the episode from the week prior as the new episode. Oh yeah. And I kind of lost my mind a little bit trying to backtrack and figure out how that happened because I went back and looking at the, um, the software, the file for episode 37, which is the one we just released somehow our episode from the, before that got overwritten as 37, even though I never pulled that up while I was editing the, that current episode, I never pulled it up. And then if I go backwards and click on episode 36, it's the same episode again. Yet somehow I got the video version correct on YouTube. So what overwrote when? And I was going through my files. There was no evidence that it ever happened. Yet I go on. You text me and say, hey, idiot. (laughs) You (laughs) upload the wrong one. (laughs) I thought it was just a standard greeting. It's kind of just the way life is texting Taylor. So. Hey, idiot. Oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? And like, <laughs> but it, I, my head was really scrambled for a minute there. Yeah, it is what it is. Sorry, it people. Eventually. It was live yeah. on YouTube. We want people to go listen to YouTube more. So you know, that was a secret. We'll call yeah. that an Andrew. Uh, what do we call him? Easter uh, egg. Easter, Easter egg. egg. When Andrew yeah. fucks up, we call him Easter eggs. That's right. Yeah, it's not a mistake. It's an Easter egg. It's something for you to find. <clears throat> Something that's also an Easter egg on our YouTube channel is the video Laugh and you receive a copy of Biodome on Blu-ray. What? What? So I went to go show some of my friends the episode where I got a little too drinky after my birthday. <laughs> yeah. I was scrolling through trying to find it. And under the podcast playlist, there is a photo of Mike Wazowski with like the baby from Ice Age as its face instead. <laughs> And it just says laugh and you receive a copy of Biodome on Blu-ray. And it's a bunch of like baby memes. I, I, <laughs> Did I someone comment know. in it? No, it's by Robot Thickness, but it's in our playlist. And I what? just, uh, fun little <laughs> Easter egg under podcast episodes. <laughs> oh, is it just like one of those like meme compilation? Uh, comp- I always say compilation. Compilations. Yes. Compilations. <laughs> my mind. <laughs> Uh, my mom keeps telling me no. <laughs> Speaking of brownies, <laughs> no, 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 um, bro. I'm gonna have I, to find that and throw that up so people can see what that looks like. Love it, I love it. <laughs> that is so weird. It's a liked video, so I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> How was your week, Ben? It was good. It was. You're on hour was, forty. You ever? Or no you ever just mentally disassociate but then people catch you doing it no you talking about every few minutes on this podcast (laughs) well yes i mean that has been (laughs) minute 40 even more rampant uh yeah man some interesting weird times at work I mentioned oh. it to y'all last week. And, uh, oh, that's... Uh, I forgot. Can, can yeah. we have a story? Can we have a story? You, I do not have a story. Well, I have uh, a story, but nothing I can talk about. Oh, uh, I forgot about I can, that. Yeah, I can surmise it into... I'm trying to think... You remember Band of Brothers in the scene where, like... Yes. It's either the sergeant or the captain that, like, just gets thrown into the position, and he doesn't really, like, belong there. But he's just barking orders because that's like his job. Oh, you talk about he the doesn't episode. have the respect of the soldiers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, just yeah. he just came from uh, um, the was overseas. Was the guy from Friends? No, no. It's uh, Tom Hanks' son in real oh, life. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, the Hanks boy. That's just kind of how it's been, and just you know, no respect. Yeah, no, no respect, respect towards the knowledge in the industry, so they're not listening to you at all. Well, I mean, I'm also not that smart. My brain don't work too good. Um, but yeah, you're just making some, for some some interesting, weird, fun times. And ooh, that's fun. There we go. Lower me down a little bit. Um, yeah, man, it's it's that's been pretty much my week, and it's all consuming, and it's pretty much all I think about. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's time for me to start searching for oh a different walk of life. Well, I guess the fact that you can't talk about it 
is pretty good news. And the fact that last week you didn't even know if you were going to be still working there by the next episode or not. Yeah, that so one was still, a real doozy. Oh man, so you're still employed, but you just still employed, but good. it ain't a good place. It's a hot. It's a very hostile uh, HR, very big HR word. It's a very hostile work environment. <laughs> that fun. Uh, yeah, that, so. that meeting y'all had after we had the end of the episode last week early um, felt very like uh, the revolution is coming and it's like the gathering of the people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're here to sign these papers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we chilling, we chilling. Uh, and then I, you know, got compulsively uh, organized, in which means I didn't organize anything. No. Because nice. I got too focused on how little room we have. So I was like, trying to put stuff away and then it would just move to another pile. And then that pile I'd try to take away and move to another pile. You yeah, know, so you hung up that a old OCD. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What is that? It's a uh, acacia strain. No, no. It's I, I finally off. had some wall room and, nice. uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm really yeah. not like, this is not exciting. I don't need to, this is not a fun talk. What, what's up? What's up? What's next? <laughs> Nobody cares about how my week's going. <laughs> people love the hearing void. about us. The the why do you think people keep coming to listen to us? You talk about the void every week. <laughs> I really, I really want like a Cthulhu Eldritch style tattoo now, uh, like mm. about the void. There you go. Um, <laughs> you should, you should I'm just at. screw that. Do what like all the gym bros do with you know how they put their name in old English huge on their back. Yeah, but just yeah. just say the void on your <laughs> soul. <laughs> That would make it seem like I'm the void, and I don't know if I want to consume people. It's a punishment that means avoid this guy at all times. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. That's great. I've uh, I've had an interesting week myself. I my new work schedule is so fucking weird, dude. I'm sleeping like three hours every eight hours. <laughs> I'm just taking two to three hour First naps. Time? Huh? First time. First time. <laughs> It's so weird because I went from a standard nine to five, blah, blah, blah. Actually, I was off at like 3.30, working like 30 hours a week, making like 60K a year salary and stuff. And I was so stressed then. Like now I'm working random hours, making good money. So not as much, but same. And I'm like so much happier. It's weird how that works. Like hmm. fuck that job I had so much, man. Fuck jobs, period. You know, that, that, that's, the, that's the title of this episode. Fuck jobs. Andrew, I know you just got one, but <laughs> you already messed that one up, apparently. <laughs> hey, I've I've made it a whole week without doing any stupid Andrewisms. So Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Pat on the back. I do have a problem though. Oh, I have boy. a real problem. What? Um, I've been playing guitar a lot. That's a problem. Uh, why is that a problem? We've been telling uh, you to get playing. <laughs> Because I almost have two full songs written, rhythm, lead, and bass. And I have a whole concept for a freaking band. <laughs> well, just know I'm the bass player or, or guitar player. <laughs> you going to fly just, out here to play shows? We'll play one a year. Ben, you down? <laughs> we'll try to get on Furnace Fest or something. We'll, we'll get really big on reels. Some bands get famous by like just Instagram true. reels. Yeah, true. Online bands. And we'll just, you know, that play that one show a year, Lollapalooza. Why are these guys here? They're famous so, on the internet. <laughs> did you just say you wanted it to be guitar or bass? Either or is fine by me. Ben, you still got your bass? I do. Nice, nice. <laughs> He's just cooking. <laughs> He's just, like, ideas. Dude, it's just been, it, the what thing is, of- I have a tentative drummer in the back of my mind that we both know about because we've talked about this before. Because Zach? we've talked about jamming a few times. <laughs> so, no, not Zach. I know. So. Dude, if you get in a band and you have, like, not me in the band, I'm going to I'm gonna feel <laughs> jealous. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to like, feel like seeing my ex out in public with another man. Another person. <laughs> <laughs> we talked. I was, I was telling Aaron about this. I'm like, uh, you're going to laugh at me, but I have a compulsion to start a band again. She, she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, you got the guitar. And she's like, she's like, do you think, uh, do you think Taylor would like feel weird about not being in a band because he's out there? And yes. I was like, oh no, I'd be bitter. She called it bitter. 
he gets to be in it if he wants to, and I don't. So, yeah, I, I've been writing music again. It's not, like, super good because I'm still a little out of it, but uh, I'm really liking the direction it's going. And it's kind of in the vein of um, Igor's band, uh, Tuska, the, oh, whatever yeah. the Russian word is. Yeah. Like, like that slash balance. I only say that because they're, like, one of my biggest influences that isn't metal. So, I don't know. Not bad. But... Hell yeah. Yeah, it's a problem. Look at you. No. Getting those gears going. <laughs> Look at you. The problem is there's too many gears going and things are starting to smoke. So nothing new first there time. with you. First no. time. <laughs> first time? No, no, my first I've been... <laughs> Things have been scorched and barely running for years. <laughs> oh god. Anyways. Oops. A Roman Coke's fighting back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this man to... wants a video podcast <laughs> get, back. audio where's the professionalism dude where's the uh, nowhere where's the je ne sais quoi je ne sais quoi <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right application it just I don't think fancy. it is at all. I don't either <laughs> you want to play you want to play a game it's not really a game we'll go play I a like, game I like games <laughs> Ben's like oh god what is it this week <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, it's, we're gonna play Would You Rather. We played on uh, the gram with the, the all the people the other day. Got a good amount of people. Shout out to we've all played... forty eight people that, that responded to this. Thank you. We've <laughs> played this before, but different categories. No, no, no. I played this before. You remember? Would you rather have unlimited bacon but no games, or <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> unlimited bacon but there's no bacon? <laughs> Yeah, gonna... would you rather cat-sized horses or horse-sized cats? <laughs> <laughs> See, there's a pattern. There's a... Anyways, go ahead, Taylor. What's, this what's week, the next this week's, little... This week's <laughs> category is pain. P-A-I-N. Y'all ready I'm for so this? Familiar. Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> pain. No? Is this hard? <laughs> Ow, I'm in pain. Uh, what? More, more. Mark Wahlberg's in a movie called Pain. There it My is. resting state of being. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Category Pain. Would you rather have a migraine for a full day or a broken bone for a week? <laughs> have y'all ever had like a, a migraine, legit migraine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have it like once a month. Migraine yes. all day, for sure. Yeah, mm. me too. Absolutely I, not. Have you I ever had... broken a friggin' appendage? Have it doesn't I? just stay broken for a week. It, I'll sit it by is a for fucking like car. <laughs> <laughs> Could have walked for a year. <laughs> you can't get a base rig off of a migraine. It's true, <laughs> unless it's a unless it's a tumor that's been provided by a the tuma. local factory. And then yes, <laughs> uh, I am team broken bone because it's going to hurt. But you got painkillers, and you can wrap that thing up and not do anything for a week. I, get I mean, it. if it means I don't have to go to work, that's actually a play in that. Yeah, yeah A week off it. work or a day off work where you're getting made fun of for calling out for a headache. You know? Oh, no. No, we, we, we let that stuff slide where I'm at. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, a... I'm, I'm going to pick, pick migraine. I broke my arm basically in half in eighth, uh, seventh grade, and that sucked. So, Okay. No. Well, the people, the people, the people voted. Fifty-eight percent prefer a, a migraine over a broken bone. So they're right there with Indeed. y'all. Y'all are Indubitably. wrong. This one. <laughs> here we go. Would you rather be stung by a bee on your finger? Getting really, get really into it. Or stub your toe on a piece of furniture? Stub my toe. Stub your toe mm. for sure. I'm team bee sting there. What team? Listen. I have been stung by so many bees in my life. I'm surprised I'm not like like fucking bee man over here. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and Boy Scouts, I mean, Boy, yeah. Boy Scouts. One year, I was in the woods and came across like they were in the ground, and I didn't see them. I got stung like five times immediately. I've been stung offshore, like ten miles offshore. A random bee just flew by and stung me in the neck. Can't explain that. And then I got, and then I stepped on a dead bee one time on the ground while washing a car barefoot in Florida, which everyone is. And I, you know, stung on the bottom of my foot. So bee stings, I get stung now, and it doesn't hurt at all. It, it's it go, it hurts for a second and goes away. So fuck stubbing your toe. I broke my toe. And see, doing that 
And see, well, that's true. You can break it pretty easily, uh, stubbing a toe. But that's kind of how I feel about stubbing my toe. You know what I always think of? Have you ever seen the um, Jumanji remake, the first one? Yes. Yes. The the Rock, when he walks away from the group and he's like, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. cry." (laughs) You just, it's kind of like you just kick something and it's like a few seconds of pain where you just kind of breathe in real sharp and there's like, okay, I'm good. It passed. Like oh, shit. with bees, especially depending on where, well, okay, not a bee, but like a wasp, the demon spawn of bees. <laughs> if you get, anytime I get stung by a wasp, it's always in an awkward spot, like between a joint or something like that. And it sucks ass. So I'm going to say stub a toe. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you, you, you team stub toe, Ben? Yeah. It, oh. Yes. There's, there's why it, it's a little momentary pain. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that. So is a beast thing. If you're a real man. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sub toe, seventy nine percent voted. <laughs> Whatever. Um, here we go. This one's us. Tattoo in a sensitive area or a piercing in a sensitive area? Tattoo. Tattoo. Yeah, I mean we're all. Uh, yeah, you got piercing. You don't have piercings, right, Andrew? I did. <laughs> he did. Oh, that's did. right. You started your gauges. That's right. I forgot oh, about he that. He blew his ears out. The timing. Like oh my bugged. god. Yeah. The timing on it was absolutely horrible. <laughs> just, just terrible. Just real quickly, I'll say why I pierced the ears, and then once they were healed, I started the process of gauging them. Like maybe two weeks before we went down to Florida for Christmas, and I never in a million years would I have taken into account the change in elevation between the mountains and Florida <laughs> having an effect on my freshly gauged ears. But by the time I got there, like when I woke up the next morning, my left ear especially was swollen to the point where I could not see the plug. It was in completely enveloped oh. in the plug. Oh. It was so bad. And I took the little, uh, the thing off the back that holds it in. And when I did, it literally went <laughs> shot out and hit the mirror and just pus and blood and oh. stuff started. Talk, you want to talk about the most intense relief? Oh, I bet. Ever. <laughs> um, I, I've thought about going back and doing it again, but I just haven't got. I just, I'm slightly scarred from that. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, so that'll, that'll do it. You got to leave yeah. him pierced for a little longer. Yeah, just... and it, it just was terrible timing. So yeah. Mm. You got any infection stories on the uh, piercings, Ben, or tattoos? Oh, I have ton of piercing infections because i would jump gauge like three or four steps at a time i remember you you were gonna go oh, i remember when time. you yeah, yeah what you, happened? you did that while you were living with me the one time when you just like randomly decided to jump oh well i mean no, i just grow i've had my ears stretched since I was like 13 14 and really? i would just yeah i was like i want to say like eighth grade Oh yeah, I guess he did have the. You weren't that big though. Yeah, that's right. No, yeah. no, they were super. They, I didn't go yeah. bigger until I was out of the house because my mom hated them. Yeah, that's right. Um, but no, I jumped up to an inch when I was living oh, with Andrew. Good, and good job, buddy. Yeah, that was the first time I realized you don't use silicone <clears throat> for stretching. Oof, oof, oof. Because I've already had my left ear blown out, and then the right ear, I put like they were stretching. I just put silicone in to just hold the shape because it kind of stretches itself. Oof. Oof. Dude, but I remember too, your face. Too quick. You came down the stairs and you're like, oh, that did not feel that great. And then like, <laughs> I don't remember if we went out. We did something. And I remember looking over at you at one point and you're like, oh. <laughs> and you're just, your face is red. And I'm like, you good? You good? He's like, and you're like, um, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> just like, you're struggling. And yeah, I, I yeah. remember you did not have a good time with that. No, nah, let that go for like two or three days. And then we realized it was not holding. So yeah, I had to soak yeah. it in, soak it in salty water. That was a fun time. And then, hold, yeah, man. That's... Hold the water up. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, they're just literally rocking around the house with a cup of salt <laughs> in my ear. <laughs> oh. nah, but yeah, man, that's I've, it. No, no thought... infectious tattoos. I've thought about getting piercings. Every time I go to do it, I'm like, mm. I don't know why, but I've kind of wanted to get my nose pierced. Is that weird? Or is that kind yeah, of... I mean, no, at, at I've this always in wanted life, mine. Yeah. What? What'd you say? No, I if always... If you did it in your 20s, it's fine. But like, if you go to do it now... It's is it kinda... though? I mean, no, like, what I don't I believe that. I don't believe that. Because it's like... What's the difference between that and a tattoo? 
you're well, constantly now, now aging. You're old enough to afford the tattoos you always wanted, so that's understandable. Well, like a nose it's still body modification. Oh, eh, no, 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 no. What are you no, gonna no. do? What are you gonna do? The septum? No, no, like it's just a hoop. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, no. Mister, I already right. have my hoop. Gatekeeping the hoop while I have a hoop. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I used to, I used to do like everyone probably did back in what middle school. Take the staples and like bend them and like put them on your to lip see what stuff. it would look like. Or like yeah. yeah, on the nose and stuff. Huh? You never did that, Ben? No. What? Because you'd be like, I wonder what I would look like with this, and you bend the staples. It'd be, you oh, it's kind of like, cool. You, hold, you like <laughs> like a clump of them, like four of them before they pull yeah. apart. Yeah, you just do that, and then you just walk around middle school all day during your. Back when I was getting in the emo, listening to Good Charlotte, you know. I remember our our boy Tyler before he ever did any piercings, he literally would do that and just wear them all day like they were real. Yeah, like, yeah, I would do yeah, it for until, yeah, <laughs> like a fucking idiot. I had friends <laughs> who would like actually pierce themselves with the Ooh. the needles. Like, they would give themselves lip rings. Oof. Yeah. I was like, mm-mm. mm-mm. Nah, nope. I'm good. That's... <laughs> yeah, everyone had to have the kid in school that used to do the uh, the eyeball thing, where they lifted the eyelids. Yes. I did that, uh, yeah. Uh, you, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> Woman three, what do you know? <laughs> All right, let's no, get back the, on track. <laughs> the, yeah, the sensitive piercing, no way, because, I mean, I've never wanted to pass out so quickly, and then it's like, it's there. Yeah. You got to get used to it for a week. It's a weird process yeah, it, from getting it's a, pierced. It's to being an object. Healed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the tattoo is just, I mean, now that I've done my entire arm, like the, the pits, like your really sensitive area, like up on your shoulder yeah. and then up in your, your ditch. Those are the elbow actually is the worst part because it's just bone and it's just rattling. Yeah. But you just go, let me go look at the painting on the wall and check out for 20 minutes it burns for like a day as it's healing, mm-hmm. and then you're good to go. Like, nope, you're good. See, I get, see, I get through it. Uh, tattoo was voted sixty five percent, so people were oh, yeah. correct. Here's a random nice. one: <laughs> paper cut on your tongue. I was waiting no. for this, or your eyeball, <laughs> tongue, tongue, tongue. What the? Why would you for paper sure. cut your eyeball? eyeball? You're ruining your vision. <laughs> One person voted for t- eyeball. David <laughs> David from the old band Zamar, you know you're fucking with us. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, it was Zamar. Go That's bringing back memories. Oh my gosh. They were ahead Anyways. of their time. They were ahead of their time. Yeah, they were great. I love those uh, guys. I would definitely pick tongue because you could always just gargle salt water. That thing will heal so much quicker. Uh, yeah, That's you know sure. how many times you bite your tongue on accident or yeah. it scrapes on something? Have you, have no. you ever had one on your tongue? No, I've never had one on tongue. No, I've not, not taken a paper and sliced my tongue. Well, no! It, it happens when you like lick an envelope sometimes. Well, who's yeah. licking envelopes in 2023? Who, who said 2023? You I said it was this year. I don't know. This kind of tracks if you're bringing up I don't know. Yeah, this is implied that this was recent. No. So. Well, the worst, <laughs> actually, worse than your tongue is here. It, the the corners oh. of your mouth. That's when it happens when you lick in the fucking paper. You know, the Chelsea Green. Why are, you, why are you sucking on the paper? You're not. Extend, have you ever licked a your tongue? No, yeah, with my tongue extended. I'm not doing it for video. It comes out, and you keep it away from your mouth. Yeah. And all you have to do is just, like, wet the edges. It's just like, and you're and you're done. You don't need to, like, gargle it just to get it closed. What? I'm sure, I'm sure eight-year-old Ben was having this conversation, too. He wasn't just, <laughs> he was, ah, I'm sure he was doing all that, yeah. yeah. There's, so much, there's so much here to clip. Oh, my <laughs> God. Who am I writing letters to at eight years old? I you don't never need any of his envelopes. <laughs> Never a flat Stanley going anywhere? Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Talk <laughs> licking and sucking and gargling. <laughs> Welcome to the Boy Till Death Podcast, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Just never mind. No, no, never mind. All right, back on track. Back on track. Focus. <laughs> Would you rather step on a Lego barefoot or walk on hot ground for five minutes? Lego barefoot. See now, this is an actually like interesting one. Like yes. this, I'm thinking this that is, we've talked I like about that. this way. The, There's the, ins and outs to this one. The beach parking lot that's asphalt, been sitting in the sun all day. Walk on the white lines, you know, type shit. That's I was gonna hot say, ground. Yeah, hot ground. Now, if you were to specify it as in like 
walking on black uh or walking on blacktop for that's, five that's minutes. What I, that's what I was thinking. Oh, okay, so there there is no safety from that. So no, no. in that sense, Lego, hands down. But it, but if we're talking about like a regular parking lot where you kind of hop in between the shadows and the white lane, then, then yeah, maybe that. But I'll keep. But we're that. also talking about five minutes in whatever environment. If it's a parking lot, regardless of blacktop, <laughs> you got to run across minutes. the Treasure Coast Mall parking lot yeah. north to south. <laughs> See where my head went. As as a self proclaimed Lego connoisseur, um, <laughs> the gentleman, <laughs> Daddy, I have I have stepped on lots of Legos in my life, <laughs> and while they hurt, my my mind always goes back to this scarring memory of Jensen Beach. Um, the beach, Jensen Beach. Um, <laughs> you struggled there. <laughs> Jensen Beach, the, the beach, that, that Jensen Beach Beach. <laughs> Not the city, the actual physical beach um, with that absolutely terrible parking lot. And the one time I went to the beach and forgot shoes. Mm-hmm. And I having to get across that parking lot on a mm-hmm. Saturday morning when the parking lot is full to the hot sand and then back. I had like second degree burns on the bottoms of my feet for like a week. Oof. And See, that was terrible. But are you the person who goes to the beach in actual shoes or in flip-flops? Flip-flops, usually, but I forgot them that day. Because I know people growing up that went to the beach in their shoes. Those were called our, those were our extrovert and, emos. Well, and yes. th- that was one of the most, like, disturbing <laughs> sensory experience I've ever had. Because I would look at them and I'd just imagine sand in the, in shoes, the shoes, in between the toes, and, like, it's mm. all wet still. I'm like... Mm. Wow. wow. There is literally no, I, nothing worse than wearing sneakers and jeans on a beach. Nothing and I worse. Have, I have been in sneakers and jeans on a beach, and it sucked. But oh, I like, have too. Family photos. Yeah, that kind of stuff. But, you know, casually going to the beach, no, they're psychopaths. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what was the answer? 92% selected Legos. Only four people voted. Your sister voted for the hot ground, Ben. Calling her out. I don't claim her. <laughs> don't claim her. <laughs> I'll just let you know. You can make fun of her. Um, <laughs> all right. No anesthesia. Would you rather have a root canal or a tooth pulled? I'd rather have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Dude. No. Um, no anesthesia? I'm not even going. Don't even. Like, this has actually been an a uh, real life debate for the last three months where I'm like, I need to go to the dentist. Can I get knocked out? Yes or no? <laughs> Don't want to be a part of it. I feel that. That's, yeah. Um, I mean, I've had a root canal and I was out of it, but like. But they put like, you they put you under or they numbed you up? No, I was numbed up. Oh, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have kind of a funny story about that. But no, the um, I would pick removal, a tooth removal, because without anesthesia, it would hurt like hell while happening and it would linger yeah. afterwards. But after it's done, it's just like heal. If you get a root canal, dude, they're like drilling out the center of your tooth yeah. into yeah, an actual active work in your yeah. tooth. Hell no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. I, it's a toughie. I, I think I might go tooth pulled too because it's like fucking punch me, knock this bitch out. Yeah. I'd rather them <laughs> yeah. pull all the teeth so I can just wear yeah. dentures for the rest of my life and not have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> just take them all. Yeah. Just take, take them, them all. all. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> all right i when i did have my root canal they gave me meds to take the night before the night um, before yeah uh they're basically where I, I had to take them every like four hours beforehand i don't know what it was but they're like start taking this at like eight o'clock because mine my appointment was eight in the morning I'm like okay so like three pills in i'm still awake for some reason and i remember uh, calling Aaron and my sister. Oh, had I've a, heard about this actually. This story. <laughs> yeah. My, um, my sister had a big stuffed panda that she used to like randomly leave in different rooms. And for some reason she was a lot younger and she left it on the toilet, like sitting on the toilet. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me in the middle of the night. <laughs> and I was like basically high off of whatever the hell they gave me. And I, I, I was on the phone and all Aaron heard was like, scared. And then immediately just starts giggling. <laughs> I barely remember it, but. Anyways, 
I don't do painkillers because of that. I, I just, <laughs> it's no. the only time I've ever been on them. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What did the people say? The people said 81% tooth pulled. So they're on. They're with us. Good people. Good people. Nice. Smart people. Next one. Would you have a? Would you rather have a splinter go under your nail? Doesn't have to be a big one. I've had I've had like tiny splinters do it, but they still fucking hurt. They suck. Yeah, that's or, not good. Or a mosquito bite under your foot. <laughs> mosquito bite under mosquito the foot. bite under that's, your foot. What? That's so random. <laughs> but I'm gonna say mosquito bite under the foot. The only thing I gotta say about this is because once you pull the splinter out. Doesn't hurt much anymore, maybe for a few yeah, minutes. Yeah, but you know how much work goes into pulling a splinter out? You've got to almost like I do. take a knife, like cut your skin to I'll... pull it with the tweezers and like get it like you gotta basically do surgery on yourself. No, you, no, you don't. You just get your tweezers, you get pull your skin back a little and you grab oh, it. Oh my god. I was a carpenter for five years. You... This is what I know, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, I was I was apparently... lights, though. It does. Um... And, and if it itches, you just go walk. The that ground would, will itch your foot for you. That would hurt. No, it wouldn't. Mosquito bites don't hurt. They like, itch. Like a, have you had one at the bottom of your foot? No. Like why a, am I sticking my feet out in the air for mosquitoes to go lick? No. For <laughs> to lick. If you get a mosquito bite at the <laughs> bottom of your foot, you deserve it. Like, honestly. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what situations have you been in? We live different oh paths. Oh my god. We live different <laughs> paths. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I don't I know I'm not the only person to do this, but I think it's probably gross. Whenever I would get really bad splinters like in my hand or wherever, I would just leave it until it might the body was pushing it out by itself cuz then you literally do this and it just shoots out. No, that's weird. I've done like I've fester. I, I've left it, and it, you just see that infection line growing away from it. I'm like, oh, got to get that out. Nope. <laughs> I've always I, been that way. I don't know why. I have a friend who, I don't know if she still has it to this day, but I remember for 10 years at minimum, she had fucking uh, lead in her finger. Pencil lead? Yeah, that just stayed Same. there. Stay I, had there. I, have, I have lead in my ear. Do you? Right here. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. In my right ear, I stabbed myself as a kid. Like I fell running with a pencil, and I like gave oh. myself. I, I got my first tattoo at four. This explains uh, a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. I got. I. I this tripped is and different. My, I got a scar right there. But I, I used to. I used to skate with another guy named Andrew. <gasps> Super weird dude. He had a BB under the skin right oh. here that you could physically see like, what? poking out. And it was about this much range that he could actually roll it. Oh. He could roll it under his skin. <laughs> the weirdest thing. What the fuck? <laughs> I know. Absolutely he not. told everybody he met about it. He's like, yo, I got a BB right here. Like, it was a, you know, trophy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened? Did he get shot in the eye and it, like, slithered up into his forehead? He got an shot in the forehead and it, it got embedded. Andrew when he was drive by shooting people fucking those days. We don't talk about that. You brought it up on the pod. It's all for open air now. <laughs> I only used plastic. Mm. It was still stupid, but mm. I mean, no, this is before those days. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> 96% say mosquito bite, so y'all weird. Pathetic. All right, here's a good one. Here, here's, go, here's a good one. <laughs> Do you rather have severe sunburn or an itchy ratch all over your body? I'd uh, rather have an itchy rash all over my body because that's basically what eczema is. I mean, so, sure. I mean, yeah. my arms are always itching. I'm always itching. I don't know. I can relate to that. It just it scratches, and then you take a hot shower. You ever take a hot shower on a good on a bad itch? It feels so good, so good. Yeah, itchy all day. Sunburn? <laughs> uh uh, dude. You show up to work with a shirt on. Someone slaps. It's always the day you get a sunburn or a tattoo. Yeah. People decide to touch you. They People love to touch touching you. you. Yep. Give and it I the don't old. know why. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? They smack you on the back, and mm. I've never wanted to hit someone so quick. I like. I thought this was the start of a fight. Not a great <laughs> Now, sunbird? Uh-uh. I think... The fact hmm. that all of these hypothetical injury type scenarios brings up so many memories is kind of sad. 
Because when you just started talking about that, I was like, hey, Taylor, remember when we floated down a river for three hours? In the, oh, in oh, my the God. I forgot Rod about that sun. sunburn. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, oh. I was mostly okay. You and Aaron were um, I was dying. not good. I had I had reptilian skin on the back of my knee. Like, it, the, it the, leathered the over. The knee oh, yeah, the back. Could, that, that, that was thick. I laid on my stomach the whole ride. That's why I fucked up from the get-go. Not to mention we were in the mountains, so you know, a little little more stingy on the sunburn. And um yeah, right like my shorts were like four inches away from like my knee where it bends on the back, and from there down was just red. And that, that flexibility in the skin when you close your legs yep. and stuff just made my skin like leather and whew. I just remember, I just being remember m- how miserable. There's a photo yeah. of us in the back of a car just look <laughs> <laughs> I just remember how unprepared for that whole thing we were. What did right. you float on? Uh, it was like two, just like two by t- uh, two rectangles or square, square inflatables. I don't know. Like I tied I, them together. I, yeah, I floated. I floated on two beer cooler. Yeah. floaties. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that were tied together, and Aaron floated on a giant shamu, uh, like, which looked so uh, uncomfortable. Killer whale. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Which I. <sighs> We were so fucking cheap because it costs like twenty dollars more to, that we spent with these inflatables to just take the the river floating business there. They they provide everything for you, the proper stuff and everything. We were we're so like, yeah, cheap. we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Stupid, <laughs> absolutely dumb. It was fun Anyways. though. I just remember the <laughs> random snakes swimming by us and Aaron like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, where were we? <laughs> Sunburn was voted sixty-eight percent to thirty-two percent rash. Now, interesting. You do I don't get even itch- know what way to pick for that one. So you do get itchy with a sunburn. Just a heads up. <laughs> the next few days. Uh, here we go. This one's personal to me. Severe ear infection or a severe sinus infection. Sinus all day. Fuck an ear infection. Give me si- yes. sinuses. Yeah, sinus infection. Easy. Yes. Oh my god, that. I lived that life for three months. Absolutely. Never again. Uh, last one. Us, us men will know a lot about this one. Childbirth or passing kidney stones? <laughs> us men will know. No, I did talk to Jade about this. She was like, oh, kidney stones all day. And I was like, let me dive into this a little more. So i tell you all out there. Childbirth is natural. It opens up a little bit. You know, when you're trying to do mm-hmm. that stuff, naturally, that's what happens. Supposed, yeah, you know, it's supposed to happen. Kidney stones are coming, and ain't nothing opening up any wider than what it is right now. That's so true. You make your choice there. I've never passed kidney stones. It runs in my yeah. family a little bit, and I pray that I never have to. But I think I don't know. I I think I'd give birth if I could. But then again, that's also me being a man. Like, oh, giving birth, blah blah blah. You know, I would still say. I mean, of course I have to pay kidney stones because I'm a dude, but uh, like with women, I know there's a biological um, pain tolerance that's higher than a lot, a lot of what men have Yeah, because it's specifically it's biologically it's, it's natural, built to yeah. handle, to yeah. handle that amount of pain and like to react to the, to the body changing and stuff. Got some bad I don't bitches. know that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that works still with kidney stones, but I mean... I don't know. I mean, it no, would be rough. We are not meant to have kidney stones. It's all these day up sugar drinks. No, we're <laughs> it's not. All the fucking not Red Bulls. Um, when I when my sister kept having them and all she drank were Red Bulls, I was like, and I that I was oh, drinking God. them too. I'm like, yeah, we ain't drinking that anymore. Absolutely not. Ben, what about you? you Want to pass a child out your butt? Oh God. <laughs> I would choose kidney stones over childbirth, I think. <laughs> cool. <laughs> 56% said childbirth. But, no. I, <coughs> oh, well, that, that was fun. That image. Pooping nice. out a child. Pooping out a child. Um, I saw a post on Instagram. I found this uh, Instagram account the other day. That's uh, I think it's called Reddit Guy. Yeah, and he just finds all of these crazy scenarios on Reddit and then basically just reposts them to Instagram with Reddit replies and stuff. And then everybody on Instagram like replies to it in the comments. 
Um, and I saw one that was kind of funny. It was like, a, it was like if you could leave any one random item on the surface of Mars to confuse NASA scientists, Ooh. what would it be? Ooh. Dead bodies. Dead bodies? <laughs> Just straight to the dark stuff. <laughs> An octopus. That's what. That's how we know they're aliens. An octopus. I I don't know why, but just a piece of paper with this drawn on it. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> just yeah, popped in my head. That is a good one, though. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. It's got to be like a remote or something to like the TV because you're always losing it. It's like it's a TV remote. Then there's there's gonna be physicists out there. It's like, what if there's a dimension in someone's living room going to Mars or some shit? It's, it's got to be like an ancient remote, like from the seventies, from, from the first TVs. <laughs> They're just big chunky ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I I saw it, and I of course like the first thing I thought of. I couldn't na- nail down any answers. There was too many that would be funny to have up there. But Ben, uh, I thought you kept going. I thought you were like, but <laughs> yeah, I was like, but what? <laughs> <laughs> well, so- now I got to find it because I want to see if anyone uh, replied with answers on this. It was, uh, let's see, it's called Dude Reddit. Dude Reddit. That, that sounds about a, right. A question would be on dude yeah, Reddit. Dude Reddit, a big map of Earth with several points of interest interest marked on it. Okay, I'm a geologist. I can confirm that just placing the wrong type of rock would <laughs> science up for like thirty years. I see. That's the question. Is like you got to it. Random stuff would be funny, but like. Stuff that's like scientifically like, oh, this ain't on Mars and stuff like that. That's the stuff that yeah. will fuck people up. Someone said liquid water in a mason jar. You know what's not scientifically on Mars? Hmm. Dead bodies. You know what? We don't know that. We don't know that. Yeah. We don't know that. Well, then, what, what was the purpose of the, that rover giving its life to document and surveil the surface of Mars? It was. Why not- did you just go Trump there? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I know. Someone someone went- said the S design that we all drew in middle school. Just oh, <laughs> drawn yes. big in the dirt. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's where it's from. That's where it's from. A white plastic lawn chair. A fucking uh, whatever political sign is at the time. Like all oh, those. Oh, God. Vote, vote for Trump or something. Bush Cheney. <laughs> Bush, Bush Cheney 98. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it is. It's the, the, the Mars rover. My battery is low and it's getting dark. Man, what a. Oh, yeah. God. I love when that came out. Yeah, that's like that's like that's like a that's like haiku. Like, yeah. just like... <laughs> Damn. Any other good answers on there? Uh, that was the that was yeah, the end was of the post because I didn't go, actually go on Reddit. It was just on Instagram, but I thought it was kind of a funny uh, hypothetical. It's kind of a, a kind of funny segue to what I was going to talk about next. I I went down the YouTube rabbit hole like I usually do the other day, but. <laughs> Honestly, I, what I got into kind of was not like far fetched in my opinion. Do y'all believe in like ancient civilizations, like farther back in history than we know about? Because what what's written history right now, like five thousand BC ish? Oh, dude, I don't know. seven thousand years ago. Honest answer, I could care less. Oh my! God. Oh yeah, you're all about fuck Honest history. Honest answer, that's right. that's right. It doesn't. It's not. It's not. <laughs> you're all about history. what? He, he says we've I'm had all about this, fuck history. You, you've had this. We've had this before. You're like, I it's don't care not, about history. I just future baby. That's all I care about. I, I I like history. I enjoy the early 1900s and the 1800s and like learning about that kind of stuff. But like anything that far away removed is just so. You're what, not. Does it matter? See, that's the opposite with me. It's like if you look back in history books, like that we grew up learning about stuff in school as soon as all the photos in the history book turn color i'm out i don't care anymore <laughs> if it's, yeah, if it's no, close like to our modern civilization i don't give a crap anything Just from show the me all 50s the ancient forward stuff. i don't care about the 50s onward but like the 40s and going back oh, probably so it's about victorian that's about it though before ancient that, world ancient world is my stuff that's that's where it's at for me that's what i find most interesting all the mythology yeah. and all that stuff and if you're talking conspiracy stuff, like which is kind of in the direction you're going with ancient civilizations, in a way, un- 
unknown histories. Yeah, that's right up my alley. So what I'm basically saying is like civilizations that just disappeared. That there's no, there was no written language or anything that we just don't know about. Like, would you believe in like a society that's more advanced than us that happened a million years ago? We just have no proof of it at all being out there. Um, I love the concept of it. I think I think uh, technologically probably no, but no. maybe maybe culturally and philosophically maybe. Oh, there's know. hands down. That's yeah. that's definite. Yeah, because shit keeps they keep finding stuff. Like they just found a not too, a couple within the last couple of years a tomb in uh, Turkey that they're dating back twelve thousand years ago, which is like six thousand years before like we knew. And they have these fucking carvings of like these beautiful carvings of animals from around the world in the, in the car. In oh, the, the stuff not found shit. in their like, continent or whatever. Bears from the United States and shit like that. You know, it's like stuff that we didn't know, like people knew existed back then and everything. So See, that was stuff like that. It's very interesting. That was like a 40 minute documentary and I was sucked into it and everything. <laughs> and they, they so found when it, you said, when you said I went down one of my YouTube deep dives I was At first, I was like, "Okay, what's he doing? Yeah, what's he doing?" <laughs> but now I'm going to have to have you send me some links because that's will. the kind of stuff that I'd like. Yeah, just <laughs> stare at the screen. I well, I, I mean, have you, you know. seen? Have you ever seen like the carvings that are on the walls of all these different ancient civilizations? Like, I'm not talking like super ancient. I'm talking like Maya, ancient China, like, like yeah. stuff where there's a lot of years in between, a lot of distance in between that all look like helicopters. Yeah. It's just like random shit. Yeah, and and just the the insane similarities from the other side of the world in a point in time where they didn't even know each other existed or shouldn't have known. Mm-hmm. That stuff blows my mind. Mm-hmm. No, that, that's what I'm talking about. Like nothing like oh, there was aliens on Earth, you know, ten thousand years ago and shit. That civilization. I'm talking yeah. about like stuff that we don't know happened back then. That happened. Yeah. Prove it. I've well, seen Alien versus Predator. <laughs> <laughs> well there there is stuff like that that's actual documented history of people that entire civilizations that have disappeared like in uh greece in the mediterranean have you ever heard of the minoans no um they predated but no they predated the numenorians <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> they they predated the ancient greeks by like easily a thousand or so years if, if i remember right mm -hmm. and their their ruins are i mean they're probably reduced to dust by now but their ruins were scattered all across the mediterranean the islands and greece and everything like that with paint still surviving after thousands of years uh mm -hmm. with absolutely no trace of them at all anywhere other than the buildings they left behind not even bodies like just pottery and buildings and that's disappeared. It. Huh. Yeah, and and that's not the only case. There's been other things like that. That's what but, happened to the Mayans too. They just gone. Which I, I I got into the Mayans too, man. They had like a freaking cities, like New York style, New York City style cities back then and stuff, and like highways in the jungles and stuff. Huge stuff, absolutely insane. The the stuff that they were doing back, everyone was doing before. Like, yeah, you know, we all see the movies. They're all like, you know putting hands in the bowl and molding it. And like, that's all they're doing all day. Now these bitches are I've out seen here. Road to El Dorado. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too, Ben. <laughs> I did too. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, that stuff interests me a lot. So have you been on a kick of that or did you just like watch one or two videos? No, I, I definitely like last month or so. I've like... You know, I'm heavily in the YouTube. Uh, you start watching new things and like your your stream list, everything like changes, start changing to like. Oh, uh, yeah. I get on stuff a gaming kick, I start seeing a lot of gaming stuff. I get into Pawn Stars. What I don't know. It starts turning into that. So everything's kind of ancient civilization type shit right now. And been been into it heavily. Nice. It's been fun. Nice. Going, getting the, uh, the old tinfoil uh, hat out here soon or so, you know. But. My my YouTube suggested is almost all film photography stuff lately, and I haven't even been watching that much about that much stuff about it. But of course it is. <laughs> For some reason, I don't. I, we have the board till death page. Like you could go sign into the board till death page and like start looking at videos, obviously. But I never use it because I have my own personal. I don't know why it started out. It might be the word death, but it's all gun videos. Like nothing. <laughs> 
just like people <laughs> shooting guns and stuff. I'm like, what is? I'm okay. Oh you two, wow! You see what we do it? <laughs> you you bored? I got something for you. You just, uh, you guys are Americans, right? Yeah, you yeah, like this. You like this. <laughs> you like these. <laughs> Did y'all see fucking Super Mario Brothers the movie? How much money it raked in opening weekend? I did, I not. did not. How well, much money I, did it rake in? Almost four hundred million dollars. <laughs> almost four hundred dollars. Fucking! I thought that movie was going to bomb. Like everyone was trashing Chris Pratt and everything, but no, that's fucking. I, it broke. It broke the record for the highest animated uh, movie ever. Opening weekend. Damn! I didn't know that. Apparently, a it's lot really of people good. are saying it was good. Apparently, uh, it's good. I don't. I mean, I don't know about Chris Pratt and how he was as Mario, but the rest of the cast was stacked but especially the rest of the jack cast black is, is bowser yeah jack black huh, well we'll get to him real quick but yeah jack okay. black is, jack black is bowser it, that that was a great casting i guess Why i, I go, feel like i know where this is going it's obviously we know where it's going what, <laughs> what he, when those doors open in mandalorian hello, I'm <laughs> like what the f- <laughs> jack black <laughs> i gotta be i've been dying to hear what ben thought of this because I feel like Taylor, you could have gone either way, but Ben, what did what did you think about Lizzo and Jack Black being officially in the Star Wars universe? About them being in the Star Wars universe, just when I those doors open, less. what did you? Th- what what was the first thing that came to mind? I went, oh, here we go again with another gimme, like <laughs> mid episode, <laughs> and like my initial reaction was hell yeah jack black why the hell is lizzo here and that was yeah. it just like pretty much like, she's not an actress well i mean i know she went to college for like arts and stuff but like this is like the way it came across was very force yeah very like, jokey she, lizzo knew that she was lizzo in star wars so it wasn't like <laughs> Yeah. There was a, there was a, oh, vague, like a Pepsi very commercial big, or something. It was yeah, it was a yes. big disconnect, and that was my only qualm with it. Like, who plays it? Like, I don't care. Get, yeah. I mean, Doc Brown was the freaking bad dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But like, his character felt like lived in and real, and like he was there for it. Yeah. Um, but it's also partially due to the writing of some of these episodes. Like, season three just feels forced. The, the acting doesn't really flow. There's really weird story beats that get hit just for the sake of moving the story forward. So I think that would be my biggest qualm is this like it. I don't know. Maybe mass appeal. I don't I don't know what the reasoning for it was. It just didn't feel. Uh, I've like read, it served I've, the, the story. I don't know. It was it was fine. I don't I didn't care. I, I was reading uh, an article talking about uh, Pedro Pascal's had big issues with the season three and like the direction it was going and stuff like that. And it's like really? classic, classic beginning examples of there's only one more season of him playing, you know, it was like Henry Cavill well, playing the Witchel. Where he just no, I mean, and that's what we talked team. about. That's what we talked about last time is like, you could literally not have Pedro Pascal on set at all. Like it, yeah. it, it could just be an actor. Yeah. He, hey, do some ADR and then show yeah. up for a few scenes. Cause they just re solidified that he's back in the way and he doesn't have to take off his helmet anymore. Yeah. So my thoughts on the episode. A, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I, I'm, I was just going to say like, I kind of was laughing cause I kind of, I mean, I, I love Jack Black, so whatever. I don't care. Yeah. He, it, and, and he was char He's charming in everything he does and his character as an ex Imperial. That's all of a sudden all bubbly and whatever. It was fantastic. Lizzo was a little weird. Um, I would almost I say like, Jack Black was a little tame compared to what I was when I saw oh, yeah. him on screen. Yeah. I thought I was gonna be like, "Oh, we're gonna get weird with it." Yeah, but I just kind of was like, it just teetered this weird middle. Gray yeah, area. as as an indi- as a uh, standalone story, as an episode, it was really unnecessary because it would have been the same exact story if they would have just went straight to the mercenaries and talked to them instead yeah. of yeah. having this little side side quest episode. At the same well, time, though, well, buddy, I buddy liked cop. a lot of. Yeah, I kind of liked the some of the ideas that were presented in the episode aside from just the hey, look at these big cameos. Like it felt like a episode of Star Wars Law and Order, but yeah. they're solving <laughs> droid crimes. And yeah. I don't know, I liked I liked some of that stuff. I thought it was kind of cool, but overall it kind of felt like it did absolutely nothing for the story at all. Yeah. It was just a filler whatever. I saw, I saw a real actually it's funny you mentioned a real someone combined 
the the Mandalorian to do and with the yeah. law and orders to do <laughs> like, <laughs> for that episode. Uh, I had no issue with Lizzo. It's like if they had if she wasn't Lizzo and she was just another actor, like just a random actress, we wouldn't even be talking about it. But we don't. <laughs> yeah. We do I know what would... Disney. We do know what Disney's doing though, trying to. I mean, Disney's I think Disney. it would still be the same conversation, though. Is like, it, and that's like, even if it wasn't Lizzo, the story just felt weird. Like, it oh wasn't, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Lizzo just kind of made it more like, in that disconnect of, oh, Lizzo's in Star Wars. <laughs> She's but, a, and that was the only extra princess? thought that I had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I honestly, did. all of all of my thoughts for that episode went out the way when I saw the Ahsoka trailer. So, uh, I don't True. even care about the Mandalorian anymore. Like, I'm literally <laughs> just like. Waiting did you guys see? Episode. Did you guys see today's episode? Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. I saw. No, I, I saw watched today's. It yet. I I stayed up till three in the morning to watch it. Um, it was pretty good. It was and today's. Today's was good. Oh, sure. Honestly, we'll probably the best episode of the season. Oh, yeah. um, it's very good. Like well, I kind of saw some stuff going on, and I called a little bit of it, but like I said, I'm just waiting for Ahsoka now. Like, don't even. Don't this even episode care about even anymore. Yeah, this episode even was just more teasing of stuff that's gonna be in Ahsoka. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll, you'll 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 see what we mean when you when you watch it. But okay. they're just like name dropping, showing certain things. There's certain there's a certain class of soldier that shows up that was in Rebels, and when I saw their uniforms coming in, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> okay, but okay. um, yeah, it, it was good. It was really good. I, I got. But I'm I'm with you. I'm I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward. To Ahsoka. No, you look, I think I said this. Oh, go ahead. I was just saying, you're not looking forward to Ahsoka. You're looking forward to Ray Skywalker. Or yeah, Ray Skywalker coming back to no lead the Jedi. No one's looking forward to that. <laughs> and I know you were literally excited to talk, call her Ray no, Skywalker. <laughs> not at all. I, I think I'll, honestly that'll be the one piece of Star Wars I just don't watch. Um, no, dude. What do you have against like, Ray I, Skywalker? Come on. Uh, I'm joking. We don't, don't move have, on. We don't have enough time. We're already at the end of the episode. Yeah, we don't have it. Like, that's a full episode. <laughs> that's a full episode. <laughs> uh, Smash the like button for that episode, everyone. <laughs> nobody's going to hit like. No <laughs> one's going to. No. You want to hear Ben rant about Ray Skywalker? <laughs> that's been Crickets. Done. Go, go look it up on YouTube. It's been done before. Um, no, I, I'm just. I think I said this uh, last week or something when, when the Ahsoka trailer first came out, but I'm realizing more and more how much Rebels. Is actually my favorite show, where I thought Clone Wars was because like I'm watching this trailer and then I watched the the Comic Con or not Comic Con but the Star Wars release day like mm. bootleg trailer that someone recorded that mm. yeah had deleted scenes. I cried the first time I saw it, like the the, the original trailer because I was like, holy crap, this is becoming real. And then in the deleted scenes from the trailer in the, in the exclusive earlier, I was like, oh, this is this is uh, good. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the best way to put it is, but yeah, that, I, I'm I'm debating on having Emily rewatch Rebels with me just so she can understand. She she skipped on Andor, but mm-hmm. maybe Rebels she'll watch. I forgot all about Andor. <laughs> I got yeah. Halfway, you remember I, those I, conversations? I, I got halfway into it. Oh, you know what happened? I went to Florida when we were like watching. You need it. to finish it, dude. One uh, way out. Damn it. One for way some, out. For some reason, I thought you stopped after two episodes. Are you further in on that? Yeah, we watched the first episode, and I was like, eh, with y'all, and y'all were like, watch, yeah. watch more. And then the first two are the weakest. Yeah, the we, weakest yeah. ones. We got into yeah when, uh, as Jade calls him, Daddy Skarsgård came onto yes. the screen. <laughs> yeah, and, after uh, after the first two, it's nonstop bangers and mash. <laughs> like you gotta, you gotta finish bangers that. and mash. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have to go back to it. Taylor, if you can, if you can, it will add so much weight, so much weight to the Ahsoka show. Watch oh, Rebels. Okay. Yeah. Rebels actually will feel like, because you're watching Mandalorian right now, right? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm watching the next episode tonight. It'll actually like give you a lot of insight on Mandalorian and Ahsoka. Everything. And yeah. a little bit of Andor even. Um but yeah, like Rebel, the Clone Wars did for the prequels what Rebels did for Where we're at basically now. everything right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the uh, like, I mean, I mean, season season one's pretty good. It's not like fantastic, but it, it's got a lot of important story beats and really good moments. Little kitty here and there, but once you get to season two, everything from there on is just 
bangers. It's masterful storytelling. Okay. And yeah. I, and uh, Dave Filoni, who's doing, who did Rebels and who is doing Ahsoka, um, he said that Ahsoka is essentially the spiritual season four or season four, season five, season four of Rebels. Oh. Fuck. It's it it is a continuation of the story that where Rebels left off. So okay, yeah. I remember my stepdad watching Rebels when it first came out because y'all know him. He's he lives yeah. by he lives the way Big fan. Um, and I was just looking. I was like, you yeah, watch, you watching this? <laughs> He's like, it's so good. I'm like, this is like Disney ch- children's show like they're doing. Yeah, so, I, but apparently the not. Season was for apparently sure. not. Right. <laughs> Yeah, they're like in season one. There's an entire episode where Ezra, the main character, is robbing um, uh, Imperial supply line of fruit. No, oh, just God. he's just knocking people out and stuff, trying to steal fruit for the pilot because the one pilot Hera, who's in the Ahsoka trailer, because her favorite food is this fruit called a Melu run. And there's a point, a really campy point, where he like knocks the um, thing open and the stormtroopers don't know what they're transporting. And the st- stormtrooper just stops and stares on him. He's like, you did all this for fruit. He's mm-hmm. like, yeah. And then he just knocks him off. And it's like this moment where like, he's kind of like becomes self-aware of how stupid the situation is. And, but they're just like gloss right over it. So there's stuff like that in the beginning, but did they do this with clone wars, try to make it more kiddie and then realize yeah. who their audience was. No, well, what's it's, interesting? It's what's a, interesting narrative. with Clone Wars? Yeah, what's interesting with Clone Wars is it started out very kiddie. Like you watch the first episode, it's damn near unwatchable. Yeah. Um, but um, whereas where Clone Wars, all the new characters started out as blank slates that meant nothing to you, and you had to grow with the characters, and it all matured with you. The first episode of Rebels, all the characters, the way they're introduced. Their personalities, their individual like personalities and everything are on full display. They feel like real people from the yeah. first time you watch them, but it becomes more rich and the relationships become like more interesting the further you go. Okay. There's entire subplots of like Imperials realizing how bad life as an Imperial is and being jealous of the lives of rebels because they have family and like everything in it. There's like there's real human stuff in, in rebels. Whereas clone war started out as like pee pee poo poo, like <laughs> kid stuff, okay. yeah, but then got really good. So anyways, any, anytime I have a chance to rant about rebels, I will take it. So I'm sorry, people. If I were to, <laughs> if I were to cram one in right now, it should probably be rebels for what the direction everything's going in. Uh, yeah, yes. I would say so. Okay. I would say so. All right. Yeah, definitely. We'll it's also shorter. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably get it all in before. That's what she okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. I think we should uh, head on out. Learn anything new this week? Just Rebels is really good. I, 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 I knew that. <laughs> I knew that for a long time, though. So I have Ben to thank for that. So thank you, Ben. Ben, give, give, every, <laughs> give everyone some words of wisdom before we head out. Never play hopscotch with a unicorn. I said Ben, but that's pretty good, too. Oh, okay. Now we're looking at Ben's eyes. Look at him. Help me. <laughs> I think he's I think he's giving Morse code. <laughs> um, words of wisdom. This should be a new segment every week. Words of wisdom from Ben. Words words of of um, what's a word for like moving on and doing good things. Words of moving on and doing good things. Depending on who you're talking to, they would reply with death. Don't come <laughs> a knocking. If, if the, the room's boat, rocking, if the boat is rocking, there it is. If the boat is, is dry docking. Ooh, ooh, oh boy, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh no, y'all hear the music? Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Say toodles, everyone. Uh, Bye. Bye.